Hi, I'm James Schellinglaw aboard the Celestial Cristal, and I'm here with the head of marine operations for Celestial Cruises. It's Vasilius. Gaz I'm sorry. Let's get Gazicus. Gazicus. Vasilius Gazicus. I, I should have been Greek. Greek. I got to work on these names. I, I I'm pretty good, but you know, it takes a little while getting back here. It's the first time back in over two years. You know, so here we are, and we're back cruising in Greece again. We've had a, a fantastic cruise so far, but we wanted to get a little idea of uh, how the ship works and how the fleet works uh, from the captain, and you're going to find out about all that and more on Insider Travel Report. Now, Captain Vesalius, first of all, thank you. It's been a great cruise so far. We've really enjoyed it. And as I told you, I've been on this ship a, a little about three other times, so I, I'm sort of familiar with it. Yes, uh, welcome again. Uh, we're back, as you said, uh, which is uh, very nice. Mm. Uh, we are welcoming our guests after a year and a half of inactivity and taking them to the uh, beautiful Hellenic archipelago and the Greek islands. Um, it has been um, difficult. Uh, we, we've started. Uh, we're getting back on track again. Uh, normal operations, as I say. Uh, marine operations is, impo right. uh, is uh, responsible for uh, the maintenance, safety, uh, discipline and health protocols on board. Uh, so we keep very busy. No, and you've had to adjust because of COVID, obviously. And I see that, I mean, we have temperature checks at, on every deck, which some people are kind of still trying to figure out. They put their card in and, and make sure you have to take your temperature every day. Most people are masked. Some people are not. Um, you had not require that we have a vaccination, but you, we did have to get tests uh, uh, to get on, right? Yes, uh, cruising is slightly different now. Um, but we hope that as the time progresses and this thing is being brought under control, there will be more relaxation in the, in the rules. Uh, it involves some additional testing, uh, daily temperature checks, uh, basic precautions, uh, some distances. Uh, but overall, people are still having good time and this is very nice to see. Now let's talk about this ship because and, and I'm getting to know this ship pretty well. I almost think it's I've been on this ship more than any other ship, believe it or not, uh, over the past few years. Certainly over the past few years, but it is when you look at it, uh, the, the 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 crystal looks like a modern ship, right? Yes, she has a temporary looks. Um, as she has been converted to what you see now in, in 1994. Uh, it's a very homey atmosphere, and as the uh, the, the right size of the ship for, for the Greek Isles. What, what, how many passengers? Um, up to 1,200 passengers. Okay. We don't have that full complement on this one. Though. No, no. Uh, we, we're not going to go more than 75% okay. uh, due to the protocols. But right now we are at 40%. Okay. Um, it's the very intimate atmosphere. People like it. Uh, it's bringing people together. Uh, the crew members know you by name and uh, people get to see each other. They don't get lost on the ship. Uh, so overall, uh, I think it's, it's, um, it's a pleasant experience, a yacht-like experience. Mm -hmm. uh, plus, it helps us because we are a destination cruise line where the, the real highlight is the, the ports of call, and this is what we promote. Uh, the ship is not a destination by itself, but uh, it's, it's the home uh, when you uh, travel uh, to go from one place to the other. And your entertainment and all the amenities are here. All included. All included. <laughs> yes, not forget that. Well, the interesting part about this is that it, it, it isn't a destination ship, but you have such great, you actually have great entertainment. Uh, the, the Cuban entertainers are still on board from many years ago when you were sailing in Cuba, right? Correct. Uh, we um, tried them when we were in Cuba and they proved to be great and uh, uh, our guests were very enthusiastic about that entertainment, so we kept it. No, and then you also have the, the uh, for the, the wait staff, also a lot of them are Cuban as well, right? Yes, and it helps us with the Spanish-speaking guests. They speak English, they speak Spanish, so they're bilingual. 
and they can handle both uh, English and Spanish speaking. Well, last night, actually, we're in the sports bar right now, and last night this, this bar was full because Italy was playing Spain. Unfort okay. Unfortunately, Italy, Italy won, and I think we had mostly Spain on board. We had a few Italians, but they were very happy. But this, this, this bar gets very popular, right? Yes, it does. It does. And it's, it's the intimate atmosphere that people get to enjoy here by watching games or uh, um, getting together. Uh, it's, it's a and nice then we were talking about the entertainers. Every night you have a show, and it's pretty good. Uh, the shows are, of course, the, the salt and pepper. Actually, the... the the shows and the cuisine on board are the salt and pepper of the cruise, as I, as I say. It, it, it really is amazing. Yeah, no. This is what makes people enjoy uh, cruising. And most. then the food is pretty good, i got to tell you. Uh, so you like Greek food? No. Nah, why would I come to Greece <laughs> just for Greek food? No, I love Greek food, and it's perfect, and you have Greek food every night, but it's also a lot of other things. Yes, yes, yeah. true. We try to cater to every taste, whether international or Greek, whichever you like. Now this ship has sort of been the flagship before your line, and and it's done a great job. You have, I believe, now three others in the uh, two others in the fleet, right? Correct. We have the Celestial Olympia. It's a larger ship compared to this one. Uh, she holds up to uh, 1,800 passengers, and we acquired the Celestial Experience, which is going to be in the 2,100 passenger range. Mm -hmm. And I so think a bigger ship for you, right? It's a bigger ship for us, and I think. Uh, we're going to stay at that size. We're not going to uh, get anything bigger. No, it, it's a great ship. You, you got it from Costa. It will be your new flagship, would you say? Yes. Yeah, so. yeah we got it from, from Costa. But you're, you're not getting rid of this one, are you? This is a great ship. No, we, we'll try to keep this one because uh, she, is, uh, she is popular and uh, people love it, both crew and, and guests. So we'll, we'll find a spot for her. Now, what are the, the major itineraries this ship is going on now? Uh, there's the seven-day itineraries. It's a combination of three and four-day cruises as well. Right. So it's an itinerary because of the uh, different ports. You can get it either as a four-day cruise or a three-day cruise or a seven-day cruise. Mm -hmm. So we try to combine all the cruises on, on one ship uh, for the beginning. And uh, later in the season, uh, we're going to do uh, the seven-day cruises um, to, to Egypt and Israel, mm -hmm. as we call it, uh, the Three Continents cruise. Right. And uh, we are also going to have the seven-day uh, eclectic cruises to Istanbul. And hopefully by that time, later in the season, uh, Turkey will open and we will be able to go to those beloved destinations. Well, I got to tell you, you can see more Greek islands on this cruise line than almost, I think, any other cruise line. That's the point. That's, That's the, point. the point. So I have seen more Os islands, I used to say, Milos, Eos, Kos, obviously Mykonos, Santorini, we just left, which is amazing. Uh, but I've done, Ro to this time, was Rhodes was the first time for me, so it was great. As many as you can see in the shortest possible time. So you can decide and pick an island that you like and go and spend time there. Now, what would you tell, uh, well, uh, my, my audience is travel advisors, travel agents, telling their clients about this ship. What would you tell them to tell their clients about how best to experience this ship? Uh, the best thing to experience on this ship is the intimacy and the yacht-like atmosphere and of course uh, the Hellenic archipelago which is a very uh, unique part of the world. I, I know that there are, I've been around the world, there are many beautiful places but this area here has a uniqueness weather-wise, atmosphere-wise, uh, architecture-wise, island-wise, everything is different. Uh, so uh, it's it's an experience, as we say, live your myth in Greece. Um, who said that? I mean, it was advertisement. Uh, come and live it here. <laughs> it is. You can live in Greece, and and you really do live it. You get off the ship every day. I mean, yesterday in Santorini, we got off at eight. We didn't get home till nine. It was it was a it was a long day, but an excellent day. And today, I actually took a little break. Uh, uh, they were going to a place I had been because I'd been there before. Uh, uh, Poseidon's Temple, I think yes. it was. Yeah, that's which is is right uh, uh, near Athens, right? It's near Athens, it's only an hour and 15 minutes right. from, from the centre. Uh, and yes, the sunsets of Santorini are unbeatable. We were there just for sunset, and actually later today we're going to famed Mykonos. And the day after, one of our personal favourites, uh, Milos, which actually one of the cruises I was on, I got lost in Milos once. I almost didn't get back. Maybe I didn't want to. Uh, Milos, uh, especially if you uh, get a boat, 
and go around the island, you can reach uh, some, some unique beaches uh, which you cannot go by, by car from land, they're not accessible. So you can actually explore the island a lot. There's beautiful beaches, there's strikingly beautiful rocky beaches as well. Uh, of course, tonight you're going to be with the jet set in Mykonos. I know, we'll have to be, uh, we have to watch ourselves there. We, uh, the ship doesn't leave until I think one in the morning. Uh, that, that's why <laughs> we want you to meet the, the famous and rich people. There you go. Well, Captain, I want to thank you for uh, talking with us about uh, this wonderful ship. It's actually uh, underestimated, I think. You go for the destinations and the secret is the entertainment and the food and the accommodations are pretty good too. Enjoy it while you can. I will. I only got uh, three more days, but I'm going to soak it in. Thanks very much. Thank you. I'm James Schillinglaw and this is Insider Travel Report.